Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be the finale for 54321 of 2023 and the intro for 54321 for 2024. I'm really excited to be doing this project again this year. This is a project that Elizabeth created who is Shiny Happy Pans over on Instagram. And we did this project as a small group collab years ago. I can't remember when, 2018 maybe. And then it kind of died out for a few years and she asked to bring it back last year and a bunch of us agreed to do it, including Amber, who is makeup with Amber M and a small group of us. And we're doing it again this year. I'm honestly not sure if the same people that did it last year are all doing it again, but whoever did it last year will be linked in the description box down below. I hope you check them out. I hope you give them a follow if you're not already subscribed to them or following them on Instagram. They're all good project panners. The concept behind this project is to work on five products throughout the year. One that is five years old, four years old, three years old, two years old, and one year old for the purpose of clarification. The products I'm choosing are based on the age when they came into my life, not on their actual age. So since I started my Instagram account in 2016-ish, I started tracking everything new that came into my life. And so I have quite a accurate catalog of what things have come into my life and when. And so, yeah, I'm basing the timeline not on their actual age, but the date that they came into my collection. Let's start with wrapping up last year's Project Pan. I had previously met my goal on three out of the five items. My product that was five years old was a BB cream, which I finished. My product that was four years old was a primer from Ren. I finished that. And my product that was three years old was the Berlin Girl Glow. Berlin Glow Girl. And my goal was to hit pan on that, and I did that. Um, that left me with my product that was two years old and my product that was one year old. My two year old product is um, the fail of this project. And I'm okay with calling it that. This I knew this was going to be a tough one for me, but I figured any use I get out of it would be good. But my goal for this Lamarck lip crayon was to finish it. This is in the shade, how did I forget already? Plum and get it. I did not do that. I didn't even come close to it. I didn't wear it a whole lot at all, actually. That is it rolled all the way down. It, I didn't even get it below the um, packaging line. This is a really fun color, and I love this color, but it's not something I reach for every day. It's, I don't want to call it a special occasion, because honestly, in my life, there aren't a lot of special occasions. I just got to wear bold these kind of bold colors when the mood strikes me. But yeah, it doesn't happen that often. There's really no way to like tone down these Lamarck lip crayons either. They are fully pigmented, full on lip color. So you're either going to get the full bold plummy shade or nothing. There's no like, there's no subtlety with this guy. It's, it's all or nothing. Um, but I'm glad I put it in the project. I'm glad I used it a little and um, hopefully I'll get around to enjoying this more again in the near future but it's obviously not leaving my collection. My product that was one year old was an eyeshadow from my Pat McGrath palette. This is the Mothership X Moonlit Seduction palette. And I honestly thought that I would have met this goal by today. And to be honest, I think I did meet this goal at some point and then I lost it. My goal was to hit pan on one shade. It was a duochrome shade. And um, there's been several times where I feel like I could see the pan and then it disappears. But to be honest, regardless of whether I've hit pan or not, I think I've used about half of the shadow up. There, The crater in this pan is gigantic, you guys. It is just huge. It is just huge. Panning the shadow reminds me so much of what I went through when I was panning that Urban Decay Moon Dust shadow in the shade Spectre. I don't know if you guys were here for that, but I had my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette in my Pan and Every Palette project, and I just had a nice like light pink shade. It should have been easy to go through, and it took me forever 
ever to hit pan on it. And I had the same experience with this. The main similarity between these two shadows is that they're very flaky and I only apply them with my finger. And I think if I would have applied this with a brush, I would have hit pan a long time ago. But because my finger is huge and I apply it with my finger, I tend to, the way I, I tend to swipe in there, I don't know, it just, I never got down to the bottom except for the couple of times where I could have sworn I saw the bottom. And I thought, let me use it one more time to make the pan a little bit more noticeable. And then the pan was gone. So I kind of feel like I met my goal on this, even though there's technically no pan showing. And to be honest, I might keep this in the bathroom a little bit longer until there is officially pan showing so that I could count this as a pan in every palette. I feel like I need to see that pan in order to count it for pan in every palette, even though this shadow is literally like halfway used up. And the truth is, as much as I love this shadow, I don't really want to use this shadow up on its own. I would like to enjoy this palette as a whole for a while, um, as the way it was intended, as the way Pat McGrath designed it, before I use up this really cool duochrome shadow, because um, while I've been working on that shadow, the truth is I haven't really been using or enjoying the rest of the shadows very much at all. And so I don't want to use that one shade up yet, but I would like to hit pan on it so that I could add this to my pan in every palette numbers. So uh, this is going to stay in the bathroom a little bit longer until I absolutely have pan showing, but Honestly, I've used the heck out of the shadow. It, I used it so much over the past year and I really, I enjoyed it, but I used it so much. Okay, let's move on to my project for 2024. I've chosen five entirely new products. I decided not to roll either of these leftovers over into the new project. Um, as much as I like that Lamarck Lip Crayon, I didn't do very well with it. So I figured it was time for a change. And like I said, I really think I basically have hit pan on that Pat McGrath eyeshadow so I don't want to put it into another year-long project. So because of that I ended up picking five all new products. I had a really hard time with this one compared to other years. Um, if you're doing the math five years ago was 2019 and I'd already started my low buy in 2019 and the amount of makeup I was purchasing or that I've purchased since 29 has been very small compared to previous years. And so I don't have a lot to choose from. And yeah, it was hard, it was hard to narrow it down, but in the end, I think I picked some products that I'm really going to enjoy panning for this year. Let's start out with the product that is five years old. Um, Elizabeth says you could do five years or longer. I had a couple of options that were exactly five years old, but in the end, I went with a product that's actually six years old, and that is this primer from Becca. Backlight, first light. First light. This is the first light priming filter. I love this primer. I've used half of it already. This was in my uh, 50 Shades of Purple project a couple years ago. So this is already halfway gone. I don't have that much further to go before I finish it. Um, I'm really sad that I cannot rebuy this product once I finish it, but I definitely am ready to enjoy every drop of this. I love this product so much. And it's six years old, so it's time. But this is the product I chose for the five or longer category. And I'm so excited to get going on that primer. I actually used it today for the first time, probably since Fifty Shades of Purple. And I was just reminded that it's a great primer for my skin and I really like it. Um, my product that is four years old is a product I used a handful of times. I received this product complimentary from Influencers, probably Influencer, maybe it was Octoly, I can't remember, but I used it enough to write a review on the product and then I put it away and I never touched it again. But it was something that I purchased or that came into my life in June of 2020. So that is a four-year-old product. And the product I'm talking about is this loose powder from Givenchy. This is the Prisma Libre Matte 
finish and enhanced radiance loose powder um it has four different colors um like a purpley blue a uh, yellow a pink um and then like a peach i think yeah and when you mix it together it just kind of looks like a nice light setting powder like I said, this is basically brand new. I've only used it a handful of times. I don't know if I could finish this this year, but I will try. And I am looking forward to working on this. I certainly wasn't expecting to be working on this product this year, but there weren't a ton of products that I purchased in the year that this came into my life or that in general, in general, there weren't a ton of products that came into my life during this specific year. So this is the one I chose. All right, for the product that is three years old, this is a product that came into my life in June of 2021. And out of all the products in this project, this was kind of the one that I was targeting specifically. I knew I wanted this specific product in a project and I knew it fit well into this project. So I went with it. The rest of the products in this project are complete surprises to me, but I knew I wanted this Marc Jacobs highliner in a project, whether it was this one or another project. I've been working on a brown eyeliner from Ulta Beauty for years now, and I'm so sick of it. And I, I think I mentioned in my last Beauty A to Z update that I, I was ready to like give myself a break from that pencil. And I figured the perfect treat after three years of panning a pencil I'm not in love with is a pencil that I absolutely love. This is the shade Brownie, and it is a gorgeous warm brown. I'm not sure how dried up this is. I haven't tested it, but I did discover last year, thanks to my friend Nikel, that these revive really nicely with Duralines. So even if it's really dried up, I'm confident I can get it to work. It definitely has shrunk a little bit. It's not sticking out as much as it used to, but, um, oh, actually, whoa, it's still pretty creamy. So that's cool. This is a product I've never used even once. It is brand new. Let's roll it up and see how much there is. These take a while to roll up. I will mark it on a paper as far as my starting point after I finish filming this. But I have a feeling this is going to last a good chunk of the year. I am really, really excited to have a good brown eyeliner back in my life. It's been hard to work. Oh, it's not as much product as I thought. I mean, considering how long this pencil is. That's our starting point. Wow. I'm surprised by how creamy this pencil is and I'm really excited. Okay, the product that is two years old is a product that came into my life in June of 2022. And that is, drum roll, ColourPop's Ritz. I am so excited to be working on this product again. This product was gifted to me by a friend of mine slash subscriber slash supporter of my channel. And um, she gave me a very large box of makeup, nail polish, skincare. And I think out of everything she gave me, this might be my favorite thing. I love this shade Ritz so much. It's like the most gorgeous, beautiful shade. I have already hit pan on this shade. I think I only had it in Project 10 uses and within 10 uses I hit pan, which was kind of shocking because usually it takes me more like 30. This product doesn't have a ton of base color to it. It is just straight up like metallic gorgeousness. And um, so I can use it as a topper but if I want to just have it stand alone, it's got a little bit of a, like a, a beigey, peachy base. So it can be used in conjunction on top of other eyeshadows or it can just be used on its own, but I love it. I'm going to set the goal of finishing this. I doubt I could do that, especially with everything else I'm panning this year, but we'll just see how far I can get with that. I did get done finishing a Super Shock Shadow that I'd been working on for like three years finally in 2023. So I thought, let's pick another Super Shock shadow and try and finish it. I mean, as much as I love the shadow, I think it would be really satisfying to use the shadow up completely. And the final product in this project is the one that came into my life last year. And that was in February of 2023. That product is this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade 
Forget Me Not. It is a pretty pinky nude shade. I haven't, I think I swatched it on my hand for an Instagram photo, but I don't think I've actually put it on my lips yet. But it just looks like a really nice pinky nude, which is the kind of shade I typically love to wear, especially when I'm at work, um, like after lunch. I love to just throw on a pinky nude after I get done eating lunch so that there's something on my mouth so that I feel somewhat protected, but it's nothing too messy. This specific lip plump came in a three pack. It was a total impulse buy. I had somebody in my neighborhood that was selling this three pack of these pens for $5 and I, re I DM'd her and I was like, I will take it. And I ran to her house and I bought it from her for $5. Um, I have no regrets about it. I'm definitely excited to finally be using and enjoying this lip plump pencil thing, crayon thing that I wanted so badly, but haven't used really at all. Um, I'm completely in love with any one of these like shimmery, glossy stick products that are so popular right now. It is like totally my jam. I just love them. I'm panning a Marc Jacobs uh, lip gloss stick right now and now this one and I've had other ones of these and projects over the past year. I really love, I love anything shiny and glossy, but I really like the packaging and the way that this product works. There's something really cool about this compared to like a traditional lip gloss but the effect is really just as glossy as a lip gloss and I kind of love that. It's a little bit thicker and balmier though. It seems to stay on for hours and I am just so excited to be working on this product. I had no idea I was going to be working on this this year. In fact, other than that brown eyeliner, I honestly had no idea I was going to be working on any of the products. As I was writing down the dates that these products came into my life, four out of the five of them came into my life in the month of June. That's kind of weird, right? The product that's five years old, four years old, three years old, and two years old all came into my life in the month of June. The only one that didn't was that Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. What are the odds of that? Anyways... This project will be running all year long. I'm really excited to start tackling some of these products and to get to know them better and to figure out how I would like to use them and enjoy them and pan them. Hopefully I can have as much success this year as I did last year because I do feel like I did really well with this project last year, except for that lipstick. I don't think I did great with the lipstick, but I feel like I did really great with the other four products. And I'm really excited for another year of this project. Don't forget to check out the people that I've linked in my description box down below, especially Liz. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.